Ginger, this food is not for you. But Grandpa will be sitting here, get underneath, and it'll rain deliciousness. <laughs> Josh, while your grandparents are here, do you pretend you don't hate your mom and me being together? Try to avoid phrases like, one thing I could say about Riley, his parole officer loves him. Yeah, and don't be saying, I know he's at least part German. Come on, I never said any of that. Grandpa must have read my journal. Oh, come on, Josh. You know, their first visit didn't go very well. And Riley's afraid that now that we're living together, Grandpa's gonna think that I'm supporting him. A fear that you have managed to overcome. This time, your grandparents aren't leaving until your grandpa accepts me. Oh, so they're moving in. Bite your tongue. Just be on your best behavior, would you? I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Allison's the problem. She threw a Barbie doll at me when I walked past her room. So, she always does that. Uh, this time, she sharpened the feet. Oh, no. She's got PMS? Oh, just when my mother's coming. Well, you know, this is all gonna be my fault. How? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I had Allison two weeks premature, so she would get her period just on the week that they're coming to visit. I don't get that at all from your mother. I mean, she's such a sweet lady. Up uh, to you, maybe, because you didn't ruin her chance to see Marvin Hamlish at the Westbury Music Fair just because you had the nerve to get hit by a truck. Oh, uh, good morning, Allison. You look pretty good. <gasps> this orange juice has pulp. What the hell kind of animal buys pulpy orange juice? Riley did the shopping. Kind of sold me out there, babe. I'm sorry, honey. I panicked. Well, you only have yourself to blame, Mom. We all know I was an accident. Her you had on purpose. Oh, they're here. OK, OK. Look, they're only going to be here for three days. So between eating, napping, and constant visits to the bathroom, what are we talking about, really? Three hours tops? <laughs> Princess. Daddy! Oh, oh Joshy, Joshy, look at you. You're such a beautiful boy. Josh Allen. <laughs> he looks just like I did when I was 17. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 21, Grandpa. Here's 20 bucks. <sighs> Mom, Dad, you remember Riley? Oh. Hi, Cookie. Oh. <laughs> You are still so gorgeous. <laughs> Bernie. Huh? Say hello to Riley. I did, I did. He nodded, I nodded back. <laughs> what do you want us to do, pick bugs out of each other's heads? Todd, you can't go out of town. What kind of boyfriend are you? Now I have no excuse to avoid my grandparents. <laughs> Not you, not you. No, Ted's parents. Yeah, we just got the word. They're alive again. <laughs> Wait a minute. When we moved to Florida, you were 12. Grandpa, I know how old I am. <laughs> Bernie, would you like your bagel with a schmear or just bupkis? Easy on the Yiddish, Shlomo. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> What's a Shlomo? Is that like a Jewish gay guy? Honey, if he thought you were gay, he wouldn't hate you. He hates me? No. <laughs> Josh! Did you eat the last raisin bagel? Um, I think Riley did. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Riley. My boyfriend is out of town, and you have to go and take the only other thing in the world that I love. <laughs> Why is everything?
everybody's selling me out. I wouldn't stand for it. I'd leave. What, Ma? I'm not saying anything. Hi. All I'm saying is that if that was my daughter, I'd be upstairs seeing what's wrong with her. Ma, I know what's wrong with her. She's premenstrual. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's food here. Well, I'm off to work. Franny, remember when you started menstruating? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch a game. All right, this is my chance. He likes sports, I like sports. I'm going in there to schmooze. That's a great idea. Give him that beer, and then he'll forget how much he hates you. So he does hate me? No. <laughs> Mom, your stupid dog is looking at me! Esther, run! <laughs> so, how you like living in Florida? You're not going to be talking through the whole game, are you? <laughs> My money's on the bulls. Yeah? How much? Oh, I don't actually want to put it back down. Oh. I just mean I'm a fan. Oh. But you, you do work. You do have cash. <laughs> I mean, not everything is on Franny's dime, huh? How much we talking here? <laughs> Fifty? Fifty. Oh. Too much? Maybe you better ask your husband, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a hundred. Whoa, look who's growing a pair. <laughs> Here you go. But uh, listen, uh, don't tell my wife. <laughs> She's not nuts about my gambling. Not that she wears the pants, and just don't tell my wife. <laughs> Hey, babe. Where are you going? I'm taking Allison to the gynecologist. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. What, what, what is she, 10 years old? She doesn't have to go there. I'm 16, Grandpa. Stop asking questions. I hate my life. I just want to dig a big hole and live in it. Oh, and that's why she's going. Three, two, one. Watch out. Oh, no good. Oh. Oh, I'll tell you, if I ever meet that punk Shaquille O'Neal, I'd probably ask for his autograph. <laughs> take it, take it, you won. So I'll take a few less hot pills. Bernie. It's a joke, it's a joke. You Germans got no sense of humor. <laughs> Double or nothing on the hockey game. Look at them, just sitting there, not bloating or anything. You know, if you had tried a little bit harder, I could have been a boy. <laughs> well, that was my afternoon. How was yours? What happened? Well, the gynecologist said that she really does have bad PMS, but that there is something that we can do to control her mood swings. What? Dad, do you want some pastrami? Pastrami? <laughs> If we put her on the birth control pill, it'll regulate her menstrual cycle. There never really was any pastrami, was there? Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. So Allison tells me the doctor prescribed birth control pills for her PMS. And my cramps. And her cramps. What are you, her backup singer? <laughs> he didn't prescribe it. He suggested it. And we're considering it. What's to consider? Why do I have to go through this torture every month? You don't exactly go through it alone, if you get my drift. Then why can't I just go on the pill? I mean, it's not for sex, it's for PMS. It is about sex. That's what it was invented for. And it ain't gonna protect you from getting all kinds of diseases. Yeah, I know how to use a condom, Mom. They taught us in eighth grade. Remember I had to bring a banana to school? <laughs> Yeah, I remember, but you may forget to use a condom in the heat of the moment, especially when the boy knows that you're on the pill and he don't care about your feelings because he's more concerned about getting his banana peeled. <laughs> What's
What's the matter, Ma? You're like a Cuisinart over there. I'm not saying anything. Uh, All I'm saying is that Allison's right. You should put her on the pill. Finally, somebody understands. I am going to go upstairs and let you two fight it out. I can't believe you just did that. What? You totally pulled the rug out from under me in front of Allison. Well, all I said was she should go on the pill. Yeah, you told me in front of her to give her permission to have sex with this boy, Todd, who I don't like or trust. And frankly, Mom, I don't trust her any more than I trust him. You don't know the trouble she's been giving me ever since she met this kid, Todd. All I'm saying is I was afraid you were going to make the wrong choice. Again. Huh? Franny, no offense, but look at your life. Pregnant at 17, never went to college, divorced, and now you want to give your daughter advice on sex when you're living with a man who's half your age and you're not even married to him? I can't believe you started that sentence with no offense. <laughs> I'm gonna take some guacamole to your father. Fine. Grandma! Ah, oh, Josh. Mom! Josh. Something wrong? Your grandmother just said the most insensitive thing to me. Oh, like what? You got fat, you're getting crow's feet, you're too old for Riley. <laughs> You know, it's amazing to me that you would say all that when I'm holding a knife! <laughs>Two basketball games, two hockey games, and a rerun of the 1986 World Series. <laughs> He's not very good at this. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry, and I'm not being very helpful, but my mother is driving me nuts. You know, I told Allison that I did not want her going on the pill, and my mother, like, totally undercut me right in front of her. It's awful. She's turned my daughter against me, crapped on every decision that I've ever made in my life, and she's only been here 12 freaking hours. Why don't you just talk to her? Oh, she's never gonna change. I'm just gonna have to get through this visit, silently resenting her and slowly developing an ulcer. <laughs> it's the way of my people. <laughs> Shopping was such a great idea, Nana. I mean, you are so right so much of the time. All right, Allison, I get it. Your grandmother's on your side. Why don't you just move down to Florida with them? You could go to dinner and a golf cart at 3 in the afternoon. Fine. Anybody want a cappuccino? Oh, I'll have a muffin already with... already gone, Ma. <laughs> Thank God she's over her PMS. And it'll be forever once you get her on the pill. Well, I didn't say that I was putting her on the pill. No offense, but you don't want her throwing her youth away, like you did. <laughs> Mike, you know, just because you say no offense, it doesn't mean it erases everything that you say after it. <laughs> Maybe I did make a few mistakes when I was a kid. Maybe. May I remind you of the concert that I missed with that fabulous oh, for performer the love that I was dying? Oh God! To... I am sorry that I made you miss Marvin freaking Hamlish. <laughs> I didn't expect to get hit by a good humor truck and bounce off the hood of Mrs. Schwartzman's Coupe de Ville. Apology accepted. Who apologized? I heard sorry. I will find. Then at least give me something to apologize for. Mom, you are being an overbearing, judgmental, insensitive biatch. Oh, no offense. Ma, what? Todd is here. I thought that he was going away for the weekend. He obviously lied. He's sitting with his friends. Oh, what are you going to do? I'm going to go say hi. <laughs> Oh. Come on, Ma. All right. <laughs> Hello, Todd.
God! Allison! I was just about to call you and tell you that I couldn't make my trip. You lied to me. You said you were going out of town. Listen, uh, you've been kind of psycho lately. Well, excuse me. It was PMS. I know. And when that happens, it's like dating a werewolf. <laughs> you know, like, no matter how cute and cuddly they are, you don't want to be around when they get all like, Rrr, you know? It... Oh, yeah, sweet boy. Honey. Security cameras. You know what, Todd? If you're just gonna lie to me and you're gonna bail on me when I need you most, then I don't need to be around you at all. Oh. Huh. Huh. Come on, come on. Do it for Daddy. What's going on? Your grandfather's about to lose to me again. Not so fast, Fräulein. There's still 10 seconds left on the clock. All I gotta do is sink the three-pointer, steal the inbounds pass, one more three-pointer with a... <laughs> well, Grandpa, it took you longer to say it than there was time on the clock. It's not funny anymore, God! Oh, sweetie, mm -hmm. I know that you're sad right now. I mean, he was your first serious boyfriend and everything, but I hope you can look back on this day and realize how wonderful you were today. So strong, so powerful for yourself. What am I gonna do about a boyfriend? No. Are you kidding? You're gonna have so many boyfriends, you're gonna have to beat them off. <laughs> With a stick, Ma, finish your thought. <laughs> <laughs> so I made the right decision about Todd, Mom? I think so, honey. So then it's possible that I could make good decisions even if I'm on the pill, right, Mom? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Just think about it, please. Okay. Mwah. Love you. Love, Love you. you. <sighs> well, you did something right with that one. Yeah. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry that I called you the B word. You're right. I have made some bad choices. But my kids are great. And I think that Riley and I are a good example for Allison. We love each other. We're very committed. I know. But you know the most important thing about this? What? Is that you said I was right. <laughs> Mom! I'm kidding! Uh. <laughs> oh. So, Mom, do you think that you can trust me to make the right decisions, too? Yes, sweetheart. But you have to do the same with your daughter. You're right, Ma. I don't want Allison to suffer. I'll let her go on the pill. And I'll just go in denial. <laughs> oh! Okay, we're loaded up. <laughs> oh, honey, leave some money for the grandkids. I can't. Why not? You have a wallet filled with cash. I was robbed. <laughs> When? You never left the couch. So I was robbed on the couch. What are you, a cop? <laughs> Come on, Bernie, show her. What? Check your pocket. What? what the hell? Let me see that. He wanted to surprise you, but I wanted to see your face. Oh, oh my God! I, I can't breathe! Wow! A weekend at the Fountain Blue in Miami and two tickets to Marvin Hamlin. <laughs> I'm off the hook! <laughs> Oh, honey! <laughs> Your father's getting lucky tonight! Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna cook. Oh, boy. <laughs> Princess! Oh, goodbye, gorgeous. Uh, Mwah. Great to see you, Cookie. Same here. <laughs> Your man is okay. Oh, thank you, mm. Daddy. All right, kid, you're done good. <laughs> Listen, you find someone to take it to that Hamlish thing, and you're in my will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you are a sly one. 
You took the winnings from my dad and bought the tickets, didn't you? That's the least I could do. After all, it is Hamlish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't even know who Marvin Hamlish is, do ya? Not really. What about a course line? Oh! Really? No. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs>